It's, it's been an immense pleasure to work in the UK Space Agency for over three and a half years. It's really difficult to tell what the highlights are there, but I have to say that the first launch from the UK into space, although we didn't get to orbit, was probably the defining uh, moment for me. But there are many, many others, whether it's supporting exploration missions, whether it's looking at what we're going to do around the moon or on the way to Mars. All of it has been absolutely fascinating, underpinned by some brilliant people who I've learned so much from over the last three and a half years. Telecommunications underpins just about every aspect of life, whether it's voice communications globally or whether it's data being passed around the world or imagery as well. Uh, it's, it's immensely important. Also, it's great economic value. It underpins uh, an awful lot of the uh, UK's economy as well. So it's a really important sector to get after, not just around building the infrastructure on the ground or the satellites that go into space, but exploiting the data that it carries and also enabling us to connect many areas that are disconnected, whether it's in the highlands and the islands and remote other areas or post-disaster relief as well. So telecommunication is really, really important. And I'm absolutely delighted that the IET have chosen to focus on this again at the MILSATCOM and importantly COMSATCOM aspects uh, this year. Skynet 6 is a phenomenal programme run by uh, the Ministry of Defence. When you look at the complexity that underpins it in terms of hardening the satellites, making them resilient, and they've got to provide ubiquitous comms to people who really need it in difficult places. So that presents some really interesting fundamental engineering challenges. Again, not just around the satellites that are in space, but the ground infrastructure, the encryption and the security that surrounds it, and also the ability to operate it with freedom as well. So it's a fascinating technical um, programme, which uh, I know many engineers across the UK sector will be very interested. Well, the UK space strategy uh, is a fundamental living document. And of course, as we move through into the next spending round in due course, we need to understand, first of all, what are the government's aims? Where is those confluence of needs across sectors like business, like um, critical national infrastructure and defence? And how can space play a role in that? And where does it sit as a priority for, uh, for the government? So the national space strategy, the important part of that, so how does it tease out the really important elements of it so that we can then support the sector in focusing, it, focusing them in those particular areas to get best economic value out of it and also provide the capability that we need for all levers of national power, whether it be diplomatic, whether it be military capability or whether it be economic. Well, um, I think I'm going to take some time to, uh, to reflect. And I know that Mrs. Annette has got an awful lot of things that she wants me uh, to do, but space is a very seductive sector in which to work. And uh, I've had a, a, a quite literally a blast, not only over the last three and a half years, but over the last 30 years, which has led, to, led me to this point as well. So I'm going to take time to reflect, work out where I can best apply my efforts. Um, and there are some things that I'm sure that uh, I'll be popping up again at some point in the future.